Hello everyone, this is Mohammad Ali Mirza and today we are going to discuss based on the you know, uh, request of the students, we are going to discuss people pattern and also we are going to solve it, uh, business studies AS level right. So this is the paper which is 9609 code, 12 means paper 1 variation, you know, uh, <coughs> and it's uh, May June 2016, right, 1 hour 15 minutes is the time and uh, total there are 40 marks in it. Uh, so the pattern is there are four questions which carries 20 marks and there, um, there is another in section A. In section B there, uh, there is A and B part which carries 8 and 12 marks. So 20 marks for section A and 20 marks for section B. You can also attempt section B as you can see there is complete you know uh, 6 mark uh, uh, question number 6 which is 20 marks. So question number question number one a define the term entrepreneur. Uh, it's just two marks, so you know no more details is required. Just the keywords. Uh, so the definition is entrepreneur is someone who takes financial risk for starting his business, right? So our keywords are who takes financial risk and is starting his venture or business. Right, so two marks are given to you. Briefly explain two reasons why new business often fail. Why so briefly explain two reasons? You need to mention two clear reasons and briefly explain because it's, it carries just three marks. Right, so answer says. Firstly, uh, you can write it in this manner: lack of experience. Right. Uh, Firstly, lack of experience as a business uh, owner may not have necessary experience to run the business. Business may fail. And secondly, lack of funds, uh, you know, lack of capital, you can also write. And it's, it's difficult to arrange loan from outside groups as the business is new. Obviously, the bank will not give you the, uh, you know, you can mention the may, uh, um, bank as well or financial institutions because, you know, you are new. Uh, so uh, and the question also is, uh, talked about new, right? So new is the keyword here. As far as question number two is concerned, distinguish between random sampling and quota sampling. That is basically market research question. Uh, random sampling is where everyone has an equal chance to be selected. You know, it's randomly anyone can be picked for uh, research purpose. Quota sample is divided on the basis of some characteristics such as gender. For example, if you are doing quota sampling, so 50% of male student and 50% of female student, if you are doing research on uh, students, right? Briefly explain two remuneration of market research sampling. So, what are the two limitations? So, limitation is that research is sometimes is going to be biased if the sample is not selected carefully. For example, firstly, convenient sampling is in which research may include only to whom he knows. So the result can be biased. Uh, research may include only to whom he knows. He knows means researcher. The researcher knows. Right? So uh, in convenient sampling, if I'm a researcher, I'll find people who are known to me. That is why it's called. Secondly, sampling will only provide opinions of the people who were selected. The rest of population is not considered, right? So sampling means you are not asking for everybody. You are just asking for from the certain people. So it can be also there are research bias. Um, question number three: Explain the costs and benefits of a business of decision to hold low level of inventory. What are the costs? What are the benefits of low level of inventory? If you are having low level of inventory in your business, number one, the benefit is that uh, you know uh, you don't have to you don't have right to occupy the space, right? Uh, that means your space warehouse cost is saved, right? That's the benefit. Uh, the product cannot be uh, out. The product cannot be outdated. That's a benefit for you, right? So you can just define to a little bit. Uh, and the cost is 
if you don't have low or if you don't have sufficient inventory if you are keeping low level of inventory then you might face some sort of you know for example losses if sell an order comes obviously there is a loss of sales right so you can write this uh, job description and person specification job description outlines the duties responsibilities of an employee to be performed in an organization person specification says what characteristics i should a person possess right this is this two marks so just one line is enough for every heading briefly explain two ways in which employees can participate in business decision making employees can participate in business decision making by having their you know quality circles they can discuss and you know uh, you know they can make form quality circles and they can discuss and uh, team working if they work in team working they can also do this uh, five says a revenue expenditure and capital expenditure what is the importance of business of distinguishes uh, be between these two you know revenue expenditure is and capital capital expenditure is all about when you are spending or you buying capital equipment right and the revenue expenditure is day to day expense expenditure so if you have for example bought a uh, revenue you spend on revenue expenditure and you are just considering it as a capital expenditure that means you are just increasing your asset in your balance sheet although it's not your asset it's your expense so your profit can be uh, down right so this is uh, this was very very important discuss the benefit and drawback of wisdom of using uh, using only internal source of finance so internal source of finance may there are three methods at least for example retain earning sales of existing asset and reduction in working capital so benefit are that you don't have to pay interest rates and all it's quickly arranged it's permanent source of finance the drawbacks are obviously retain earning is not high uh, you know it's not in great number Uh, and if you sell your asset obviously it cannot be come uh, return back it's one sold and if you just uh, reduce in working capital that may be a problem for you all right so uh, question number 7a corporate objectives why they are important you know obviously they provide directions and without corporate objectives is uh, you know kind of uh, not uh, you know the business have no direction uh, at all so this is all if you have any query any problem you can call me uh, discuss 0334357460 thank you very much allah peace